Hello everyone, I'm Kate Foley and I'm here to interview new designer Holly Pierre Newton Hi on guys. her <laughs> new collection of dresses HVN. Thanks for watching Hello. guys. Thank you for joining us. Um, Holly, what was like where did this come about? You know, how did you have you been thinking about it for years? Have you Yeah, so designing dresses has been something that I've thought about for years. The kind of thing though that always felt really daunting and it, I didn't know where to even begin. Yeah. Um, just sort of to go back to where it all came from. I'm a huge vintage fanatic. Mm -hmm. I wear vintage dresses, it's my uniform, I go to uniform, my whole closet is vintage dresses, almost to the point that I'm really boring and predictable in the way that I'm always <laughs> just wearing a little dress. Um, and it was sort of that thing where over the years I had started to design these dresses in my head, sort of by mistake while I was looking for them. You know, I was like, I really want to find the perfect big pink dress, or I really want to find a little cherry capsule dress. And I never found them. So it was kind of like that thing where I was sort of accidentally designing in my head. Came out of a kind of frustration of not yeah, being able to find what you want. Exactly, exactly. So then, you know, I was sort of thinking over the years, you know, I would love to actually design these little dresses. But then it was about figuring out how to actually go about doing that how to find the people to help me make those ideas a reality. But definitely very vintage inspired. And just kind of the idea of a day dress, um, really easy, effortless dress that you can throw on when you have five minutes to get ready, you know, you don't want to overthink yeah. it. Um, and also just the idea of a dress that you can really easily dress up or dress down. Um, I feel like especially in New York for us, you know, it's such a spontaneous city that you don't always have time to run home and change for the evening. Yeah. Uh, so just the idea of a dress that you can elevate with a heel or change your makeup or throw in some earrings um, and just that sort of like an easy transitional piece. Yes. Yeah. And I think what's really nice is to have kind of, because I, I find that my frustration with, you know, vintage shopping is you find these amazing prints and things like that, but the fit, you know, I, I feel like kind of people's bodies have changed over the, the years. The fit and the fabric as well. Exactly. You know, I find an amazing print it would be in like a horrible poly Like or something. something in a weird, sweaty kind of fabric. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Kind of and I think fit is so important. And that was sort of what I would do with my vintage pieces is I would shop by print and then I would tailor, you know, so I would bring in these sort of exactly. massive dresses to my tailor. And she would say, what are you thinking? This Why is did huge. you even buy this? Yeah, or it's like, so tiny. I don't know if we yeah. can let this out and make it happen. Because fit is everything. So um, I sort of, you know, thought about uh, great classic vintage fits, whether it's like the 40s tea dress, yeah. or a really easy button up yeah. pajama dress, um, and took those fits into account. And yeah, it is that sort of idea of an updated vintage dress in luxe silk, you know, so it feels really good on the skin to sort of, yeah, yeah. resolve that problem with the like itchy vintage dress. Now you're going to be kind of designing anything and everything. Like, I feel like <laughs> you kind of opened the Pandora's box. So, um, um, so let's talk about the prints. Okay. So, where, I mean, it must be, you know, like, for me, like thinking of the idea of kind of you know cutting it down to a couple of different prints seems impossible. Like I'm sure it was a really hard process. Yeah, actually, when well, you telling me I should cut it down more, I was like, this is too no, difficult. I, I, I like this. It's nice to have options. Yeah. Um, where, did, like, how did you even start with that process? Well, it definitely, there were the ideas of prints that I always gravitated towards. Like I was sucker for gingham. Yeah, always went to if I saw gingham on a rack, you know, you immediately check it out. Um, so that was an obvious one. Yeah. Also, just like little fruit prints, I love the idea of a little summery cherry, um, a floral, but I didn't want it to be too, you know, like a 90s floral you see everywhere. I wanted it to be sort of like a special little dark floral. Yeah. Um, little heart, and just adding little details, like spontaneous hearts being red, like scattered throughout. I love this one because I feel like from far away, and maybe it's just my bad eyesight, but you can't kind of, you don't notice the little pink heart, the little yeah. hearts, and then you kind of get closer and you're like, oh, so cute, it has these funny little Cells. Yeah, and then just like the little palm. I, I love, love the palms. Um, this is my homage to my cat Tarzan, the little leopard guy. This is great. Yeah, and then I just sort of hid little HBNs and leaves, and you know, just sort of adding little details to really personalize the prints. Um, maybe they're sort of classic print ideas, yeah. but then sort of updating them and adding my little signature. And, yeah. And something. how long? I mean. Yeah, how long from kind of when you decided to make this happen and then you decided, right, I'm going to go ahead and finally do this? Like, what was the process? Was it months? Was it's it been, it's, No, it's been, it's been a two year process for really, me because also I've had to balance it with other work, yeah. you know, at the same time, not the travel. Um, it was definitely sort of like time dedicated to discovering what prints I'm, you know, first of all, how do you even go about creating a print, right. putting it into repeat, you know, all of those steps. Yeah. Obviously then finding a pattern maker, I started uh, making the dresses in LA, 
uh, but I was really struggling uh, that I was living in New York and having to go back and forth and not, and not being present for every set because I think it's really important for your first collection that you're really present, um, you're learning as you go, you know, because this is my first time doing this. So it was really important to be on site, you know, be in the factory, uh, be picking silks, feeling the fabric. So I ended up moving the whole operation to New York, yeah. which is amazing because I'm able to be, you know, be there every day. Yeah. Just be really hands-on, you know, and really taking control of it. Yeah. So in that way, I'm really, really glad that I moved it to New York because I was able to, you know, really feel. It's also quite nice. Control. It's like you live here and it's like produced in New York, and I feel like there's such a good kind of garment industry here that it, it, it makes sense. Yeah, and the quality is amazing. The quality is yeah. really good. There's such a difference. And I think, I mean, I think, you know, wearing this like what stands out to me, and, and I guess what I was kind of, and shouldn't have been, but I was shocked by was the fact that it, it is like your first collection. <laughs> and knowing from, you know, working with tons of different designers and things like that, it's so hard to get good quality. It's really difficult, and a lot of designer friends of mine have been really helpful, yeah. including Max, as you know, <laughs> um, and several other designers. Just even just emotional support, you know, yeah. when things go wrong, or you know, unexpected things happen, just being able to pick up the phone and call friends and they did this How do I deal with this situation? Yeah, exactly. And so everyone has been really supportive and that's really, really helpful, which has made such a difference. I mean, I think it's really nice and I think that's, that's what's really nice about kind of the New York community of designers. I feel like everyone kind of looks out for each other and definitely. now you're part of that community. <laughs> definitely. And I feel like maybe from the outside people would think it would maybe be competitive, but it has been the complete no, opposite experience. No, I think everyone wants kind of everyone else to succeed and, and do something beautiful and I think that um, you have a lot of friends. That's really nice. So, what else? Um, who I feel like who who would be kind of your ideal woman? I mean, is that a weird question? I feel like to that's wear the dresses. Like a... Well, obviously the idea of like the Asian and go. Yeah. She's sort of like the busy effortless woman who yeah. doesn't have time to overthink her outfit. Yeah. You know, she can quickly transition tonight, whether it's with a heel or an earring. Um, seeing my friends, you guys, wearing the dresses at the <laughs> event was so crazy for me because obviously you guys all have such amazing style. I mean, I think what was really interesting was seeing kind of, you know, because obviously there were people wearing the same prints, but everyone kind of interpreted it in such exactly. a different way. Exactly, and I like, loved that, and I loved that. Yeah. Just how everyone, you know, like Martha wore some combat boots and Tracy wore it with like little boat shoes with socks, like yeah. everyone really made it their own, and that, I don't know, it was so special to see. Yeah, this, you know? and I think that's the interesting thing, because I think when you have a garment that's so simple, that's kind of just a dress, it really is about how how you style it, and, and I think that's what I love, like personally, you know, every day going to work, especially in the summer, it's like, I really want it to be simple, Yeah. and I don't want to have to kind of overthink, it's like, I want to wear something that I feel great in, that's beautifully made, that like, is you know, kind of flattering on like your body and, and, and I think this is kind of perfect. I feel like, thank you very much. Oh, my whole <laughs> summer wardrobe. <laughs> Don't oh, have to think about anything that anymore. That <laughs> means so much because that's exactly what I was going for. It's Just amazing. Sort of, yeah, yeah, that's amazing, amazing. amazing. Um, so let me think, what about, you know, thinking of when you were designing, did you have kind of, were you kind of looking at different references of like style inspirations or were there kind of, different, I don't know, movies or, or kind of designers or artists and things. Yeah, I mean, definitely uh, 40s style was like heaven. Yeah. It's 40s and 50s yeah. movies, just those incredible shapes, you know, where even if it's the simplest fabric or just a solid color, it's just the fit was so impeccable that yeah. it makes the whole dress, you yeah. know. And there's sort of that idea of that, just that ease and something that you can dress up at night or, you know, wear just really simply during the day. Uh, obviously, there are... Uh, you know, girls like you inspire me no, every day, you. as you know, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, you, I don't know, I like sort of imagine girls wearing my dresses. I think it would be so crazy to run with someone in the street or see someone in the street wearing a dress. You know, I think that would be a crazy moment if yeah. that happens. Um, because it would just be so exciting because that's sort of why I even made the collection. I mean, that must be quite nice, the idea, yeah, the idea of just like seeing, oh, it's mine. Well, that's why it's I, not that's, mine. That's how I felt when you guys came now. When you came into that event, I was like, ah, oh, you know, it must be such an odd feeling. Yeah, it's really crazy, especially when it was so cute when girls were in the same print together but in different shapes. Yeah, kind of like a Destiny's Child moment. Exactly. You will. Like three um, girls together, slightly different shapes. It's kind of that like yeah, teenage moment where you were like, we all want to dress the same, but we're still different. Exactly. You know? yeah. So it was it was sort of a throwback in that way. Amazing. <laughs> um, and let's talk about matchesfashion.com. Yes. How like how did the partnership come? about did you you know I mean I guess for me like 
one of the best in the world. So yes. it's great. An amazing partner. Yeah, Manchester Fashion is kind of the first website I go to to see what's new. You yeah. know, the way they curate um, brands. Yeah, just everything they do is like impeccable. Like I feel like if I even if I see something I like, and then I'm like, I, I bet you matches will have it. Do you know what I mean? They yeah. like, have such an incredible eye. Yeah. Uh, and I thought it would be really amazing to partner with a UK brand. Yes. You know, I'm born in London. Yeah. Now American, but yeah. <laughs> Cause you're half British. Yes. Born oh. in London. I'm and I moved to LA when I was twelve. Okay. So split down the middle. Kind of British. My son British enough. enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I mean, it was such an incredible opportunity. Yeah. You know, when I showed them the dresses and yeah. I'm such a huge fan, so it's so crazy even just seeing the dresses come up is coming soon. I just and lost I it. That's this even is crazy. having like HVN as a as a as a brand like on there. It was brand, insane. It was amazing. just it's so cheesy to say, but it was a dream come true. You know, it's the kind of thing you never imagine will actually. I mean, happen. I think I'm really impressed. Like the way you've kind of pulled, I like, just can't even believe from kind of when we first started talking about it. It must have been a couple of years ago, yeah. and. To see it real here now, and to have like matches fashion part, you know, partner with it, it's just, it's kind of astounding. It's amazing. Thank you. So, so I much. think that's um, I think that's all from us. Thanks for um, coming up. It's been really nice to chat to you about it, Thank and I'm, so I'm glad to know more. And then I think we'll probably just try on the dresses. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.